Did you guys know the speed of light is less in glass and water than it is in air? And how come the light slows down when it gets to the glass or when it gets to the water or anything? And here's another thing. This used to bother me years ago. If the light slows down when it gets on the glass, how does it speed up when it comes out the other side? It seemed if you want to get light to slow down, get on a piece of glass plates, and at the end you can just catch it in a bucket. Keep dribbling down, yeah? But how does the light speed up again? How does light get through glass? Let me give you a little scenario of something like how that works. Light is a throbbing spark of electromagnetic energy, huh? And that throbbing spark of electromagnetic energy has a certain frequency. It has a certain frequency at which it throbs, yeah? And when that whoom, hits into a piece of glass, that glass got any atoms in there? How many say, oh no, the glass probably don't have any atoms. Come on, the glass got atoms. <laughs> and what's the atom have around its nucleus? Begin with E. Electrons. electrons. And guess what those electrons will do when that electromagnetic energy hits them like this? Hit, boom, they'll start moving the same way. They'll be set into vibration, okay? Now, what's a vibrating electron do? Did we talk about that before? What's a vibrating electron do? What does it emit? An electromagnetic wave. So that light will be captured by the atom. And then, boom, the atom will vibrate and, boom, send out its own light wave. That catches the next atom. When that light wave hits that atom, what's that, what's that atom do? How many say, oh, it probably don't vibrate? Come on, that vibrates too. All right, so, boom, it's absorbed. Now, what's the vibrating atom do? Boom, spit. Burp, bam, 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 it, ca da, 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 cascades. When it gets to the end, here's your piece of glass like this, yeah? Here's your first atom just sitting there like that. Here comes the wave. Choo, choo, choo. Whoop, boom, okay. Hip, I spit. Next atom, boom, okay. Boom, hit, boom. Here's the atom right on the edge over here. Whip, boom. This one, hit, boom, and then, boom, free space. How fast did it throw it out? Free space. You know what the speed of the light was in between atoms? 300,000 kilometers per second, the speed of light that you get in a vacuum. Because guess, we think of a vacuum as void, right? Take a piece of glass, take a piece of water, what's in between the atoms? How many say airspace? No, 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 no airspace. What's in between there, gang? Begin with a V. End with oid. Try it. A void. And guess how fast that light wave goes, or that light particle, or that light goes in between atoms? The same as it goes outside. How come light slows down when it goes through? I wonder there could be maybe a time delay be between being absorbed and spitting it out. If there is a time delay, wouldn't that, in effect, slow down the light getting through? Hmm? Hmm? Let's suppose I have like a little toy soldier that can walk like this. And the toy soldier walks at only one speed, only capable of one speed. Okay. Let's suppose that toy soldier walks over and touches another one and the other one starts walking. Stops. See what I'm saying? The toy soldier that comes out the end here is not the toy soldier that went in. You see that? A little time delay. If there's a lot of interactions, does that mean a lot of time delays? That means a color of light that would interact a lot ought to move slower than a color of light that doesn't interact so much. Does that make sense? Okay. And guess what color of light interacts a lot with glass? Violet or red? Violet. You don't be knowing that yet. Let me tell you something. The resonant frequency of the, the electrons in there are like ultraviolet. And when ultraviolet light comes in, and hen, when that sets that electron into moving, boom, it is really moving. So much it bangs into everything else. And the energy de degenerates into, begin with an H, end with a T. Heat. Try it. Heat. heat. And all that ultraviolet light going to do, honey, is heat up that glass. Because it's hitting that resonance. Resonance, the vibration is too much. So the resonant won't get through. But what's below that ultraviolet? Begin with a V. Violet. And that violet's close to the resonance. And the vibrations aren't enough that they degenerate into heat, but enough to interact here, 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 all the way by the time you... I think violet light going to take a long time to get through. Red is way, way, way down underneath. You can kind of look at it like this. Most of your atoms won't even do a darn thing when red comes by. So red just, whoom, skates around out by and only interacts here and there. 
Guess which color should get through fastest? Red. Do you see it's red? And it turned, we're going to learn later on that when the different speeds will bend different amounts, and that's why this and the rainbows you see above you display the colors that we see. It has to do with different colors bending. And we know why they bend differently? Because they've got different speeds in the medium, different average speeds.